but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. Israelites, the most important thing for you to do at such a time as this, establish a personal relationship with the Father. A personal relationship with the Father is far more important than life itself. The Father is the one that gave you life. He it is that can take your life away. The steps of the righteous are ordered by the Most High. It's extremely important for Israelites and strangers to know the Father and establish a personal relationship with the Father. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. The scriptures said that we would find the most high if we seek him. The scripture said he's not too far from us. Those of you who are truly seeking the Father will find him if you look for him with all of your heart. The Most High will reveal himself to the people whose heart is perfect towards him. That they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Many people have been deceived in religion to worship and pray to the sun God. Religion have done a phenomenal job of excluding the God of Israel from the scriptures while using his likeness to get many to worship and serve the God of this world. The way the Satans achieve this through Messiah worship. If some Israelites and strangers would allow the Holy Spirit to open the scriptures to them, as well as let the Holy Spirit guide them into truth, they would understand the scriptures. They would also see the deceptions taught to them in the beast religion. Israelites, if you allow the scriptures to speak without the interpretations from religion or any social media scholar, you will begin to see the true Messiah and the Father in the sealed scriptures. The Son God, that is also the Father in the flesh, whom you establish a relationship with prior to your awakening, is not the God of Israel, as well as the Messiah sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israelites, the deception is deeper than changing the race of the Messiah to your own. The doctrines that were taught to you don't support the truth of the Most High's words. That is why you need the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The scripture in the book of John chapter 16 verse 13 said that the Holy Spirit shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. The scripture is letting us know that the Holy Spirit doesn't speak on its own accord, but what it hears from the Father, that is what he shall say to you. The scriptures in the book of 1 Corinthians confirm what is said in the book of John about the Holy Spirit not speaking on its own accord. The scriptures in the book of Corinthians said that no one knows the spirit of the most high, but his spirit, the affairs of the most high, no man knows. Did you hear me, Israelite? No man knows the things of the most high, but the spirit of the most high. It's the same for any of us. Nobody know you better than your own spirit that is within you. I can never understand people who believe gossip and slander of someone. The person who is doing the slandering don't know the person they wrongfully accuse. The deep truth that is being spilled can only be spilled by the Holy Spirit that searches all things to reveal to us. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. 
For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. If you're looking for truth, the Holy Spirit have to search the deep things of the Most High to reveal it to you. Reading books written by the Gentiles is not the deep things of the Most High. Reading the scriptures with the mind of the flesh is not looking into the deep things of the Most High. Remember that Satan's via the high level workers of iniquity have tampered with the words in the scriptures and changed the writings to their liking. The deep truth that is being revealed to us at this time comes from the Most High through His Spirit that hears the truth from the Father to reveal it to the Israelites and strangers who are seeking the face of the Father in sincerity. The Messiah that came in the Father's name didn't speak on His own accord either. The Messiah didn't come to say or do whatever He wanted. The Messiah in the scripture said He was doing the will of His Father. The Father gave the Messiah instructions. The father gave the Messiah a commandment on what to say and what he should speak when he was flesh. For I have not spoken of myself, but the father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the father said unto me, so I speak. As you heard in the scriptures, the Messiah didn't speak on his own accord. The Messiah didn't become flesh to establish his own will on earth. Everything he did, the father who sent him gave him instructions and commandments. That is why everything you hear from the Messiah was the words of the most high. The Messiah is known as the word of God. Israelites, he's literally the words of the most high. The father gave the Messiah commandments on what he should say. The Holy Spirit speak on what he hears from the Father. We as his people that have been deceived by religious doctrines must establish a personal relationship with the Father in order to know the truth as well as to become transformed. We must be renewed in the spirit of our mind. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, some Israelites believe because they have awakened from their slumber, they don't need to renew their mind. Just because you have awakened from your slumber, it doesn't mean your mind is automatically renewed. The renewing of your mind is a process. Only the Most High can properly renew your mind. To the Israelites who have awakened from their slumber, it's very important that you don't follow or take as truth the words of social media scholars, pastors, teachers, and prophets that speak on their own accord. You heard in the scriptures in the book of Corinthians that no man knows the affairs of the Most High but the Holy Spirit. Anyone speaking on the behalf of the Father at this time must have the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit didn't reveal it to them, do your part and go to the Father for confirmation. You should always seek the face of the Father for confirmation. Anyone who speak from their own wisdom or they've read the Bible multiple times to show themselves approved, they are not being led by the Holy Spirit. Just because a person is born male, it doesn't mean they are called or qualified to speak on the behalf of the Father. Remember, many are called. The Most High wants to show himself strong in his people. However, not all of his people have a heart after the Most High. That is why a few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. The coming kingdom is for a few only. The road that leads to life, only a few will find that road. The scripture said only a remnant shall return to the Father. Although the Israelites are as numerous as the sand of the sea, only a remnant will return to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. Anyone can be called, but only a few out of the multitude that is called will be chosen. I can tell you there are many on social media that don't follow the Holy Spirit or led by the Holy Spirit. You can't speak on the behalf of the Father if you don't have the Holy Spirit or unaware if you ever had the Holy Spirit. The Most High started to pour out His Spirit on His people since the generation alive at the time when the Holy Spirit came. 
Peter confirmed this to be true when he said the prophecy spoken by the prophet Joel about the Most High pouring out his spirit on his people to dream dreams and prophesied was being fulfilled at that time. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. But these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass. In the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. The awakening happened because the Most High designed for his people to wake up from their deep sleep at an appointed time. Waking up from your slumber wasn't done by your own accord. I didn't wake up anyone, nor did any pastor, teacher, assembly, church, and etc. The scripture said in the book of Isaiah that it was the Most High that brought the spirit of deep sleep upon his people and closed their eyes. The Most High did this. The Father also covered the prophets, the people that rule over you, and the seers he covered. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. The father is in control over his creation, despite his creature's rebellion. The father is behind the scenes, doing as he please. Since the Most High covered the prophets, your rulers and seers, how will they know truth if the Most High don't send the Spirit of Truth to tell the truth? How would anyone know the affairs of the Most High if the Holy Spirit don't abide with them? Religion made it seem as if the Holy Spirit abide with anyone who believe in Jesus. That is false. The scripture said in the book of John that the world cannot receive his spirit because the world don't know him, nor do they recognize the spirit of truth. How can the world receive something they cannot recognize nor see? The world serve and worship the God of this world, the King of the Jews, Jesus. The God of this world have blind their mind, therefore, they can't see nor recognize the spirit of truth. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. The Most High awakened his people in this generation to fulfill what is written. It's up to his people to look for him with all of their heart. The workers of iniquity in the awakening that are led by the flesh only teach what is popular and repeat the doctrines from Rome. Israelites, the Holy Spirit have to guide you into all truth. That is why you must have a personal relationship with the Father for the real truth. When you come to channels like this, the truth you're hearing here is meant to give you confirmation on what the Holy Spirit have already told you. The Israelites that are truly seeking the face of the Father will receive information from the Holy Spirit. For some Israelites, the deep things can be overwhelming. When you come across channels like this, the very questions you had and what the Holy Spirit said to you, you will hear it being repeated here, despite me not knowing what you discuss with the Father. Israelites, that is how the Father ordered the steps of the righteous. I hope you can now understand why the scripture said to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more, in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The remnant that is truly seeking the face of the Father will find him. Majority of the truth the remnant is hearing here, the Most High already revealed it to some of you. You can only receive the truth if you have a relationship with the Father and the Father is ordering your steps. Israelites, in order to inherit the coming kingdom, your ways have to please the Father. That is why I say to my people, don't stop at Messiah like religion have programmed you to do. You need to return to the Father for you to learn the deep things of the Father. Only in religion does a person have to consult someone else to get to their God. In the Old Testament times, before the word of God became flesh, it was the God of Israel and his people. Before the Most High created the Holy Seed, it was the Most High the Father with Adam and Eve. 
There was no barrier between them. We know before the flood, when the population of men began to multiply on the earth, the earth was full of violence and sin increased. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Our ancestors that lived during the time the Most High gave Moses the laws, the scriptures said they were a rebellious and stiff-necked people. The sin of idolatry remains in the Israelites. Despite all of their iniquities during those days, the Most High used an anointed prophet among his people to steer them in the right direction, as well as to tell them what the Most High is expecting from them. Never did the Most High the Father had to become flesh to lead his people. The Most High doesn't operate in the flesh. You can't please the Father in the flesh. Fighting in the flesh will lead to defeat. That is why when the Word of God became flesh, he died. That was the only way he could die to enter hell to restore Adam and all the righteous in hell. Israelites, you must read the scriptures with the Holy Spirit. The scriptures will expose the doctrines of devils from Rome. The truth is hidden in plain sight. The best thing you can do at the times we're living in is to establish your very own relationship with the Father outside of any camp, assembly, group, church, and religion. When you enter your closet and seek the Father in secret, you will find him. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut to thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. When you have the Father in this generation, the lying wonders from the Satans cannot mislead you. The doctrines of devil from Rome cannot trap you. It's the father that will deliver you through the angel he gave charge over you. The same angel that his name is in him. The angel of the covenant. But he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not. For he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. The King James Version of the scripture you just heard in the book of Malachi said, I will send my messenger. The NIV version also said, I will send my messenger. Some say the messengers being referenced in the book of Malachi is John the Baptist and the Messiah. By now, everyone should know that the angels are messengers. The scripture in the book of Malachi said that the Most High will send his messenger. I don't know when did John the Baptist became an angel. Israelites, it's good to read the scriptures in several versions. In the Catholic public domain version, the verse in the book of Malachi said, I will send my angel. The workers of iniquity replace angel in the King James Version with messenger. Behold, I send my angel and he will prepare the way before my face. And presently the sovereign whom you seek and the angel of testimony whom you desire will arrive at his temple. Behold, he approaches, says the Lord of hosts. Deep truth like this could only be found by the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that will lead you into all truth. If you reject the truth, the Most High will put a strong delusion upon you to believe a lie. Only the Holy Spirit can show you what is hiding in plain sight. The scriptures in the book of Malachi show that the messenger of the covenant is called the angel of testimony in the Catholic public domain version. Who is the angel of the covenant? Israelites, the Most High is not only exposing who the true people he made a covenant with. The Father is also revealing the identity of the true Messiah. Remember, the true Messiah came in the Father's name. The scriptures let us know that Michael will stand up for you in the times of trouble. When Michael stands up, that is when we will be delivered. Israelites, it's very important for you to know the era we're living in. The Most High will do everything exactly as it is written. 
Everything written must be fulfilled. Remember, these are the days of vengeance. These be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Israelites, don't let the Satan's lying wonders distract you. It was prophesied that nations would rise against other nations. There will be wars and rumors of wars. The scriptures inform us not to be afraid. The scriptures also said the end is not yet. Israelites, we must be vigilant. However, while we're being vigilant, we must obey the Most High and return to the Father. Too many Israelites are distracted by social media philosophers about what is happening in the B system. We must follow the commands the Most High gave to the end time generations. As we see lawlessness increase, we must draw near to our God. We must obey the Father. This is not the time to start prophesying lies and assigning bloodlines to the other nations that are fighting to force the scriptures to say what we want. We got to let the scriptures speak. Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles. The Israelites will remain scattered until Michael stands up. Civil war is nothing new. World wars have been happening from the beginning. When it comes to the university of social media, it's the end of the world. To some, Jesus is coming. Israelites, it was prophesied that the word of God will return with his angels. What did the Most High command the end time generation to do? Repent, pray, seek his face, return to the Father. As the heathens rage, we must use the time to draw closer to the Father. As the scriptures are being fulfilled, we must increase the conversation about the Father and how to return to the Father. We should not focus on the heathens' lawlessness as they conspire against the Most High and all who does his will. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Israelites, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, don't be fearful. These things must happen. We're at the tail end of the times of sorrows. We will see earthquakes in various places, famines, and pestilence. Pestilence are diseases like COVID. So much will happen during the times we're living in. Be prepared to see the entire world in chaos. The only way you will be prepared and have peace, you have to return to the Father. The Father will lead you in the direction you should go. If you allow social media philosophers, prophets, teachers, and pastors to lead you, the peace of the Most High will not be with you. Israelites, don't let anyone steal your peace for likes and views. Let the perfect peace of the Most High be with you. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Israelites, while this world is perishing, remain vigilant, but let your focus be on the Father. The Most High gave us signs to look for in the end times. Knowing the times we're living in will help you understand what is happening in the world around you. Israelites, everything written must happen the way the Most High said it would take place. We cannot skip steps to get to the end. So many are skipping steps. While majority of Israelites and Gentiles are focused on the wars and rumors of wars, nations rising up against other nations, many don't know where we are in the timeline. I said to you before, we're the end time generation. So many people don't realize we're at the time where the scripture said, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Israelites, the truth that had been exploding all over the world for all nations to hear is the real gospel of truth being taught in all the kingdoms of this world. The end won't come until everyone have heard the truth. Religion never taught the truth, which is why the end never came. How can the world have over 3 billion believers? The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, have daughters all over the world. The most remote places in this world have a graven image of the Messiah that came in his own name. Everyone knows about white Jesus. The graven image of white Jesus have been circulating for over a thousand years. 
For multiple generations, the so-called church had been teaching the gospel throughout the world. The end didn't come from their evangelism. The reason the end didn't come, the church taught lies. The truth won't be found in religion. That is why everyone who associate with religion are perishing from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The book of Revelation warned the people to come out of her. The Most High is pleading with his people to return to him. The Satans are the creators of organized religion. The scripture said that Satan is the father of lies. The scripture says Satan's native language is lies. You won't find truth in religion. The truth and the Satans don't mix. With the Most High using one of the modern day king of the earth, Putin, it helped push the truth to mainstream on a global level. Many nations and kingdoms that didn't know the gospel of truth are now hearing truth, the workers of iniquity concealed from them. The Most High used the king of the earth to remove the spell, the graven image of white Jesus had over the Israelites and the Gentiles being deceived by that image. The people are now asking questions. We're now seeing Gentiles who believe they were the chosen people take DNA tests and exposing their DNA for the world to see that they are not related to the Israelites in the scriptures. Many Gentiles are starting to come to the realization that they have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Although some Gentiles inherited lies from their ancestors, a great majority of them knew the truth. It was prophesied in the scriptures that the Israelites would forget who they are. The Israelites would lose their heritage. The Israelites are a group of people who were lost. That is why the Most High sent the Messiah to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. With that being said, all the other nations didn't lose their culture. They knew their oral history and their bloodline. Only the Israelites are prophesied to have forgotten who they are. To the soft-hearted Israelites that melt when they see white tears, when the Gentiles weaponize their tears to apologize, make sure it's sincere. Also, the Gentiles should be repenting, not apologizing. True repentance brings forth change. We've received countless apologies from the Gentiles over the years. The nations continue to oppress us and never return what they stole. Before you invite them to the cookout, make sure it's real. All the Gentile nations knew the truth and they helped the Satans conceal the truth. The group of Gentiles that would say they inherited lies is a small minority. The Gentile nations know exactly who they are and they knew who you are. They was hoping you wouldn't wake up from your slumber. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Israelites, do you see how the scriptures are being fulfilled when you allow the scriptures to speak? As well as to allow the Most High to guide you in the way you should go? While some people are being distracted by the wars, they can't see the prophecy of the gospel of truth being taught in all the kingdoms of this world is happening right now. The Gentiles that finally came to the realization that they have been taught lies are speaking up. Secrets are being exposed and many Gentiles who believe their pastors are waking up. That is why some of them are coming to the realization that they have inherited lies. Putin sharing the graven image his nation had hidden in secret vaults helped uncover centuries worth of lies. The exposure of the graven images can help the world see that the people they have accepted to be the descendants of the Israelites are not the people, but of the synagogue of Satan. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. Some Gentiles will come to the realization that the Israelites who have been speaking on this truth for years wasn't spreading hate. 
Now that the world know the truth I've shared on this channel wasn't hate speech, I'm wondering where will YouTube restore my videos they've taken down and removed the strike from my channel. They accused me of speaking and spreading hate. The Most High just showed the world that what I've shared and many others have shared about the Israelites being black wasn't hate speech. Last week, the Most High exposed the heart of the Gentiles. Despite of the truth, some Gentiles will believe the lies and refuse to repent. They will continue to do the will of the Satans. The Israelites who are bond men and bond women in Christianity will only repeat what the people whom they put on a pedestal say. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. The Satans are looking for ways to shut down the gospel of truth that have been exploding all over the world. The workers of iniquity came together to shut down TikTok. Forcing the owners to sell or be banned is the Satans countering the truth. They want to stop the truth from spreading. The workers of iniquity is making it seem as if banning TikTok is for your own good. They are doing this to interfere with the truth that is spreading in all the kingdoms in this world. Israelites know that once they ban TikTok, other social media platforms are next. Banning social media is how the truth being spread in all the kingdom of this world will become scarce. Israelites, that is why it's important for you to know the word for yourself. Although I don't use TikTok, the Father used these platforms to spread the truth in all the kingdoms of this world. Israelites, as you heard in the book of Psalms, the heathens will conspire together against the Most High, but the Most High will ridicule and mock them. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Now that the gospel of truth is being taught in all the kingdoms as a testimony to all nations, the Israelites and Gentiles have to make their own decision on who they will serve. We heard in the book of Revelation that many people won't repent of their sins. On the day of judgment, no one can say they didn't know. The truth of the gospel is spreading all over the world right now. On the day of judgment, when the word of God say, depart from me, I never knew you, all who reject the truth will know why. The Messiah they have accepted as their Lord and Savior is not the true Messiah that came in the Father's name. Many people establish a relationship with the God of this world, Satan. A lot of people cannot comprehend the gospel of truth because the God of this world have blind their eyes. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Israelites, do you see the importance of knowing the signs of the times and not skipping steps? Also, do you see why you must allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth? Listening to people who obtain their doctorate from the university of social media and not from the Holy Spirit will make it difficult for you to see what is truly happening. The gospel of the kingdom that must be taught in all the kingdoms of this world is an important prophecy that is happening right now. The scripture said, once the gospel of truth is taught in all the kingdoms of this world, then the end will come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Currently in the beast culture, conversations about the identity of the Messiah as well as the Israelites is a hot topic. The identity of the Messiah and Israelites are not the only truth the Most High is making known. The Father wants the world to know that they are not serving nor worshiping Him. Many who are trapping religion serve the God of this world. There's a lot of truth being revealed at this time. The Israelites and Gentiles have many truths to consume at this time. Many people have to humble themselves and return to the Father. For some people, it will be difficult for them to humble themselves. The spirit of pride won't let them. Knowing the race of the Messiah when he was flesh is one obstacle. Many still don't know the Messiah that came in the Father's name. Many Israelites in the awakening is still rejecting him.
That is why the gospel of truth being taught in all the kingdom is a testimony against the nations. What does the scripture mean when it say the gospel is a testimony or a witness for all the nations? The most high know that the truth will be difficult for many to believe and accept. That is why it's a witness against all the nations. The most high keep a record of everything about you. Everything you have done and said is written down. No one can say they didn't know. The Most High is making the truth known right now before the end comes. Israelites, allow the Most High to increase your knowledge with truth. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The Most High have done a lot of unmasking with truth on this channel. Allow the truth of the Most High's words to penetrate your spirit to bring the change that is needed for you to inherit the coming kingdom. Now is not the time for anyone to waste their time on debates. Go to the Father in secret and ask the Father. Where you spend eternity is important. Israelites, don't use the mind of the flesh to try to understand what is spiritual. The flesh and spirit are at war with each other. You must walk in the spirit to understand the affairs of the Most High. The amount of time the Most High have given to the end time generations to hear the gospel of truth is unknown. Israelites and strangers, it's important to take your spiritual walk seriously and seek the Father for yourself. Don't put your salvation in the hands of social media scholars, prophets, teachers, and pastors. Remember, many are called, only a few are chosen. Israelites, let the Most High lead you to the people he anointed and chosen in this generation to help you on your journey. Not everyone who are teaching were chosen and anointed by the Most High at such a time as this. Although social media is used to help spread the truth, social media also give a voice to the workers of iniquity that conspire against you and the Father. There are many wolves in sheep clothing. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. The signs of the times will help us determine where we are on our journey to redemption. Israelites, don't let the demise of this world distract you from seeing what is truly happening at this time. It is written that this world will pass away. The Most High warn us of what is to come. The best thing we can do is to return to our God. Once the gospel of truth is heard in all the kingdoms as a witness to all nations, the end have come. All people who don't believe the truth by then, it wasn't given to them to know the mysteries. Israelites, don't waste your time on trying to figure things out on your own. Allow the Holy Spirit to tell you the things to come. Remember, those who are inheriting the coming kingdom is sealed with the Holy Spirit. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. The truth that is spreading like wildfire in the beast system is the sign of the gospel of truth that must be taught in all the kingdoms of this world for a witness to all nation is happening right now. Israelites, don't let the Satans distract you with heathens looking for ways to prolong their time, as well as to try to get you to submit to their falsehoods. Remember, there's no truth in the workers of iniquity who run the world with the Satans. Israelites, ask the Father to teach you how to serve him in the spirit and in truth. When it comes to serving the Father, you can't escape the truth. Don't let the Satans deceive you with half-truth and falsehoods. The gospel of truth that is spreading, regardless if the people accept the truth or not, everyone will have the opportunity to know the truth. What they do with the truth is solely up to them. Israelites, don't let the Satans rob you of the truth the Most High is making available at this time. Take heed to the truth, so that the truth shall make you free. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord.